Hey, what is going on, you guys? I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm Celos, and welcome to my channel, Pay Yourself Back, guys. And today, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a different video than my normal videos. Um, and I'm here in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, guys. I rented me a log cabin for the weekend, and we are actually absolutely enjoying it. Love it. Hadn't had any hiccups, any problems. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is these Airbnb rentals especially the ones with the hot tubs and if not the number one selling point is probably in the top three advertisement of these hot tubs and so <clears throat> most people they come here and i'm not just saying in tennessee but it could be anywhere but the attraction one of the main attractions is the hot tub people come here say for example in the smoky mountains of tennessee and they advertise the hot tub as that's the that's within the top three selling points of any airbnb in my opinion, and I've seen a lot of them. Now, some things that you should be very concerned about and take caution before you actually jump in one of these hot tubs. Now, I'm not really a subject matter expert myself, but I do own a hot tub. I live in Florida. I bought the hot tub brand new. I've been had it for about eight months. And, and during this time, you know, I have learned a lot. And one of the main issues is all sanitary procedures must be followed. Now, before I jump in my hot, hot tub, which is normally on the weekends because I work pretty late during the week, I always take a sample of my water to pitch a penny and have it tested. That way, they let me know what I need versus, you know, me buying the strips from Amazon. I don't do that. I take it to the actual pool place and have the water tested, and that way it's 100% accurate. So, some things you need to pay attention to when you guys come to these Airbnbs with these hot tubs before you jump in it. Now, again, if you look over here, the host has put up basically a warning. And what it says here, it says, we cannot be responsible for any medical conditions incurred as a result of the hot tub. Use the hot tub at your own risk. The font is very small, most people that come out here, they're not gonna look at this. They're gonna totally ignore this until they actually probably get in the hot tub and then they'll probably read it. But initially, they're not going to pay attention to that. Some things that you should pay attention to and you should really, really pay attention to. This hot tub, for example, let's look at it. All right, this is probably about a 300, 300 gallon hot tub, maybe a little bit less. Now, some things you should take caution. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you about something. We're gonna to get to the really, really deadly issues with these hot tubs in a second. So watch the video till the end, guys. Now, the first thing that I do, being a hot tub owner myself, is that you wanna make sure that the hot tub is sanitized. You come to the hot tub, right? You open it up. First of all, there's too much water in there. It's too much water. It may not look like a lot of water now, but once you cut these jets on, or once you start putting people in here, this thing is gonna overflow and it's gonna come out on. So that's that's the number one thing. It's too much water in here. They overfilled it, so you drain it out. Your filters in here, obviously. Now, if you hope, open up your hot tub, when you get to these Airbnbs and you see the water is cloudy, do not get in it. If there is an odor, do not get in it. If there is, if it's grayish, if you can't see to the bottom of it like this, do not get in it. Now, however, just because you can see to the bottom of it and it's clear does not mean that it's sanitized. And I'm gonna tell you why, see those what you mean. You see this here little floaty device right here? You hear that? This little device right here, and you can see there's probably like, I don't know, it looked like maybe mildew or something on there. I don't know what that is. Now maybe it's just old. I could, I could be mistaken. If you don't hear nothing in here, which you don't, this contains your, sanit your um, sanitizers, chlorine tablets or bromine. You don't hear it. So they didn't put any chlorine tablets in here. Now being we're in 
the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, I'd imagine they would use chlorine instead of bromine. The difference is in Florida and when hot states, you use chlorine uh, bromine tablets in your hot tub because they last a lot longer because of the heat. The heat affects, you know, the lifespan of the tablet. Up here, you can get away with putting chlorine because it doesn't get that hot and it'll last longer, but you don't hear that. So if you don't see, if you don't hear any tablets, first of all, if you don't smell, and, and I don't mean it has to be an overwhelming smell of chlorine, but if you don't smell anything, any, and you don't smell anything here, it's just water. And it's kind of a musty odor. And a lot of times, <clears throat> Whoever owns these Airbnb, they really don't know. I mean, some of them know, but most of them don't even know this information. I can tell that there has been this thing. There's no sanitizer in here because it smells. It smells like kind of kind of musty, and it smells like whatever. If they're using city water, water it smells like it's what it smells like. Now, imagine, imagine this. People get in these hot tubs. People come, there's a high flow of traffic. I mean, these, these, for example, guys, I'm not, and I'm not saying anything bad here. I'm just trying to uh, give you, uh, you know, give you a little bit of a caution before you jump in these. People get in these things, they probably get, get in them dirty, you know. They have all kind of oils and all kind of, you know, stuff on them. They might be nasty. They get in, they probably have sex. Uh, you con them, whatever. They got all these body fluids, and this is real talk. I'm, okay, I'm not. I'm not being funny. They get in these things now. So, if you don't know the last person who has been in here and what they have put in here, you know what I mean? From whatever they've been doing, they get in here, you jump in here, have a nice little romantic session in here, if you know what I mean. And I hope they're not doing that because it can mess you ladies up but anyway um but the real issue the real threat and the real uh, how do i say what I'm, what I'm basically trying to get to here guys is the real serious 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 threat to your life with an unsanitized hot tub is legionnaire's disease Celos, what is Legionnaire's disease? What does that mean? Legionnaire's disease is basically a form of pneumonia. And the way that you get it, and, and for those of you, here, here's, here's what I'm gonna say to you. If, for people who have, like who are heavy smokers, people who have respiratory issues, um, like asthma, or like allergies, real bad allergies, or um, if you are like sick, you are on the weather, you have a cold, do not get in a hot tub that is not your own or anyone at all. And what happens is when you cut these jets on, it produces a mist. You inhale the mist and that's when it starts to attack and get into your respiratory system because right now it's not going to you even in there but once you cut the jets on nobody's gonna sit in a hot tub without cutting the jets on first of all I mean that's the whole purpose of getting in the and relaxing jets the bubbles and so you inhale that mist Legionnaire's disease can be treated but for a lot of people well not a lot it doesn't happen all the time I mean but for some people elderly people who have kind of weak immune systems or who have like I say respiratory issues you know it can be treated but it can be fatal at the same time. I was reading something a few months ago about a gentleman in the UK, I wanna say who was on a vacation in the Airbnb and he was drinking in, in the hot tub and he um, got sick. And in a couple of days he was dead. And, and it was it was the cause of his death was Legionnaire's disease. So that's a real thing, guys. So all I'm trying to do is just trying to bring a little bit of awareness to you guys. There's nothing wrong with, and you know, going on vacation and enjoying a hot tub, but make sure you you be cautious, and before you jump in these hot tubs, you know. And that's what they're there for. They're they're, they're there for you to get up and have a good time, have a good experience in your Airbnb or your rental whatever the case may be but just use some caution you see read this 
read this, but this ain't gonna tell you everything. This is just kind of like a little, you know, and, 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 <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, again, I'm gonna read something to you. He says here, again, he says, they're not responsible for if you have medical conditions. So that's, that's a warning to you really, and, but it's, it's not, it doesn't say warning because if it, was a, it said warning, then you probably wouldn't get in it, but it's a warning to you. And it's just what I have told you. If you have medical conditions, basically saying, if you get sick, you can't come back and sue us because we already warned you. So pay attention to that, guys. They're supposed to drain these hot tubs after each um, tenant or whatever checks out. But think about this. If you check out at 10, which is normal, and then the next person checks in at four. By the time they drain the hot tub, because you can tell they drain it, you know, they, they don't drain it, you know. But by the time, it's a small window of time to drain the hot tub. Me, my hot tub, guys, I've only cleaned it once because I've had it for about eight months, less than eight months. So you're supposed to clean, thoroughly clean your hot tub between three and five months. But anyway, it, getting back to it, think about it. There's a small window of time between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And, and sometimes the mates may not get here or the, the whoever cleans these things, these cabins may not get here until 2 or 3 o'clock or maybe not that late, but maybe 12 or 1 o'clock. That's not enough time to clean a hot tub. They'll drain the water and they'll probably just refill it and then that'll be it. There's no sanitizer in there. So this is a very unsanitary hot tub. Now, if you're a perfectly healthy person and it's unsanitized, then you'll probably be okay. But again, if you have those health issues, if you're elderly, you have respiratory issues and things like that, then man, be very careful. Be, and there's no knock on the host of these, any Airbnb, it's just something that to be aware of that guarantee you if you don't own a hot tub or a pool you're not going to know these things because i wouldn't but think people urinate in these things people have sex in them people do their business so if you come to an airbnb just make sure that you ask the host did you clean or when was the last time that, that, that this hot tub was thoroughly cleaned and then that way you'll know I want to thank you guys. That's about it. I want to thank you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know your experience with hot tubs. If you've been to Airbnbs or the VRBOs and you stayed and you had, uh, you got sick or anything, leave me a comment. Otherwise, listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in to pay yourself back. I hope you got some out of the video. Um, and yeah, man, that's about it, guys. You take care. And until next time, be well, my friend. See Los out, baby.